Hi, my name is Louise and I'm really excited to tell you about my job working on the Connect programme because I think it makes a real difference to people's quality of life and well-being. I have a unique job. I'm a community wellbeing officer and the project I work on uses technology to help people live more independently, connect them to the right help at the right time and enables them to self-manage their own health and well-being. I work as part of a wider team that proactively tailors its support to the individual, making sure that includes working with health and social care professionals, the third sector and community groups. The Connect service is the first of its kind in the UK. It offers a proactive programme on support that is based on technology enabled care. We are so lucky to have been funded by Welsh Government's Transformation Fund in West Wales to be able to deliver Connect, as we have the idea from a similar service model in Spain that we've been adapting to make it work here. We believe Connect has the potential to deliver a framework of prevention and wellbeing that could have a big impact on health and care systems anywhere because it can change people's lives for the better. And that's why I love my job. Now I'd like to show you how I do it. Because it's a proactive service, we have done a lot of work to tell people about what Connect can do to help them. The unique thing about Connect is the way it adapts the needs of the individual. It puts people in touch with the right help at the right time, as well as empowering and supporting them to help themselves. Our process is designed to make sure that this is the right kind of help by asking questions that direct people to pathways of support and alerts us if statutory support would be better. We have designed pathways of support which are a 24-7 hour service with call handlers that direct the emergency to the right response, including first response teams that can respond within 60 minutes to a non-medical emergency. Regular telephone contact to talk through goals and progress, comprehensive technology enabled care, structured proactive pathways of support, as well as the right routes into statutory care at the right time. We've got a unique assessment and planning tool called Connect to Wellbeing and this also helps us measure if the service is working. We create a plan from this assessment which is owned by the person, not us, and it can also be downloaded as an app. It's divided into different sections which represent the whole person because research tells us it's these sections that contribute to wellbeing overall and that's why they are important. We work together to score each section and then we work on an action plan. If someone scores highly in one area, I discuss ways in which they can maintain that high score themselves. They don't need much support, maybe just talking through how they could make it even better. A middle score might indicate that we need to give someone the help to help themselves, so I can refer to third sector or a proactive self-management route. At the other end of the scale, we can always access the advice and support of the professional multidisciplinary team and help with a referral to health and social support. Oh, hello, hi, it's Sean again from Delta Wellbeing. So how, is, how yeah. has it helped you having the phone calls every week? All the people that phone me have been really nice, you know, they've made me feel at home. Longest time of the week was the weekend waiting for Louise to phone me on a Monday morning. <laughs> With you only having the one call a week on the Monday, it might be, you know, we could look at you maybe having two calls a week instead of the one. Oh, it did make the world to me. Through the COVID pandemic, we extended Connect to everyone who was shielding. We made 8,000 calls and linked people into COVID-specific support, such as food parcels. Someone doesn't have to be watching 24-7 physically. It's there as a monitoring device that they're independent and we've got 24-7 call centre staff on hand who can call for help at any time if anything's activated. They're just little discrete sensors that will activate and just keep someone independent and safe as much as we possibly can. We think tech is a solution that can allow someone to live well independently. Connect have been wonderful. They came in and they set up the Wi-Fi for me. They gave me the tablet. They showed me how to use it. And if I have any problems, all I have to do, press a button and I'm connected to them immediately. And they help me. The best thing about this technology is that it allows me to live independently in my own home. And that's the best part. Hi. My name is Gareth and I support people on the Connect programme with digital help. Digital inclusion was always a big part of the project, but this has become even more important in our response to the COVID pandemic. When the community wellbeing officer works with someone, they give them a digital prescription which tailors apps and online content to help individual wellbeing goals. This can range from self-management apps to links to an online church. For some of our clients who may be digitally anxious, we have worked with a local company to design an adapted tablet that is not only easy to use, but has some locked elements to ensure the user's safety. 
We obviously work closely with the third sector on this to provide much needed digital help. We have also created a unique platform called connect to You, which is a virtual social network. It's our way of creating virtual communities of interest. We are even using this technology to create a virtual day centre to replace our physical day centres that have been closed due to COVID. I do a karaoke um, every day with Tracy and I talk to the boys in Corsans. And I like doing everything on there, I like joining in with people I do. And I do exercises twice a day on there. I go in the living room, I put the iPad on and then I just move like this and I move my arm like that and then I just copy what other people do on it then. Yeah, and I enjoy it. Good exercises for you. We have designed proactive support pathways to make the biggest impact and we refer to a wide range of organisations for these, including the third sector community groups. These are digital support, social connectedness, falls, carer, self-management for long-term conditions, dementia and community-based support. We are focusing on ways in which we can proactively support people to help themselves when developing our falls prevention services. Sport and Leisure have developed a 32-week proactive falls prevention programme in partnership with Health and Social Care. Clients are assessed via the Connect project and Delta Wellbeing and referred to the Proactive Falls Prevention Programme. The proactive approach provides clients with three exercise opportunities each week, educational sessions covering key topics such as nutrition, home safety, podiatry needs and ongoing support throughout their journey. During COVID-19, Sport and Leisure has enhanced its service by offering live stream and on-demand exercise opportunities through our new digital platform, Active Anywhere. The Proactive Falls Prevention Programme will be delivered digitally through Active Anywhere, where clients are referred from the Connect project accessing the content through their tablet and they will be supported by their wellbeing officer. I enjoy it, you know, I mean, I look forward to it actually, you know, and seeing everybody else as well. I think it's great. Before my grandmother had the lifeline, if we were to call her and she didn't answer the phone, it's a long way for us to drive an hour just to check on her to see if she's okay. That is not sustainable long term, especially when we've got young children or we've got work commitments, but we had to go down to, to check on her. So now that my grandmother has a lifeline, it's 24 seven. We can go to bed in the evening and not have to worry that uh, we would be woken to a call. But not only that, as a family, it's so reassuring. It benefits us just as much as it benefits my grandmother. And she says to me all of the time, I couldn't be without it now. In so many ways, my independence has been taken away from me, which has made me completely housebound. And therefore my button is my only uh, <laughs> is all I've got with, uh, with the outside world, really. Well, my, my pendant is very important to me because it, it is my lifeline. It gives me confidence. And um, I know that when I'm in trouble, and I have been in trouble on a number of occasions from falling, that uh, I've only got to press it and the response is immediately. One of the services that we do offer is obviously the pick up from hospital if there's no other next of kin or family to assist with that transition from hospital to home. It can be an overwhelming process um, and transition, especially in the pandemic when people can't socialise as they previously did. So one of the ways that Connect do support that is the outbound wellbeing calls. So continuing that support from, you know, that hard transition from the hospital to the community environment. I think really does give service users, families peace of mind to know that they are supported in the decisions that they do make. I hope this has given you a flavour of what our Connect service offers. I'm incredibly proud of the work that we do and know the difference the project has made to support the people who really need it.